emergency EPP strategy. Today on this video, we're going to learn about the ethical principles of persuasion strategy. I love this strategy. Uh, it's got a lot of the common elements that we're starting to see as we're going through what's day 26. It's the 26th strategy out of 30 that we've been discussing. And we're starting to see some patterns. At least I hope you're starting to see some patterns. I know that I am. And that's the key to this is looking at these different strategies, seeing what works and what would work and what we can apply to our businesses and then applying it to our own businesses to supersize them. If there's a strategy you like, go ahead, copy it exactly for the next 30 days. Test it out. Do what they say step by step, day by day. And you can get those instructions for free in our Facebook group known as 30 Day Supersize Challenge. The written day by day plan for each of these 30 plans of super successful entrepreneurs that were asked, what would you do if you lost everything and had to start over again? If you lost your reputation, if you lost all your money, if you lost everything except the knowledge in your head and your expenses were paid for one month, what would you do to get back on top? And this is their answers. Today, day 26, this is Akbar Sheik's answer. And I, I think he's a wonderful person. Um, he is a very high principled person. And I think that's part of why I'm attracted to and like his strategy. So let's dive into it. He calls his how to create an almost instant coaching practice that attracts your perfect client. So who else would like to do that? Who wants their perfect clients coming to you? I do. So the first thing he says he would work on, if he had lost everything, he'd work on his mindset because he knows he knows to go into this 30 days with the right mindset. So he would read every day and he's also going to document his journey. And this is going to come in handy at the end of his 30 days and when he's moving on toward the next thing that he's going to do. And I'll tell you about that in a couple of minutes. He's going to start to hone in on and really analyze and discover, okay, what is my skill set? What do I have to offer people? Um, and he knows like most, well, not most people, but like some people know that everything we need to be successful is already inside of us. And if we tap into that and figure out what it is that we're good at and what we can do for people, um, everything will work out. He says business is all about problems and solutions. And he knows he has the solutions for some people's problems. All he has to do is find the people with the problems that he can solve. So, if he, how he goes about doing that is similar to how other people do it. First, he figures out um, what his skills he's got that would be immensely valuable to a target audience of people. And then he starts going out to find out where are those people with the problem that he can solve. And he does that in Facebook groups, just like everybody, almost everybody else has said. Some people have said LinkedIn or another social media platform. But for the most part, we've been hearing Facebook group, Facebook group, Facebook groups get active, participate, answer questions, provide immense value in Facebook groups. We've heard that from probably 22 of the 26 plans so far. He says he would post in these Facebook groups a minimum of three times a day. Um, he's also going to start to make friends and he early on talks about getting the help of a virtual assistant, getting somebody to help him with some of the activities that he needs to get done because he knows it's a big job. I'm not sure how he would do that if he's got no resources, but maybe he would barter coaching for somebody helping out with different tasks that he needs done. He said he would cut right to the chase with people these 30 days. He doesn't have any time for small talk or all these pleasantries. He's just going to help them solve their problems and get to it right away. Um, he said he would make he would go out and in these different groups, he would find the groups where it's okay to add what he calls value posts or posts about um, different topics that he's an expert in that would add value to the community. He says a lot of people with Facebook groups are really hungry for content and they need help and they like when other people provide value to their clients and their customers or their group members um, and solve different problems. He said he would do... Three free funnel critiques. I love this strategy too. He said he would offer on his Facebook page three free funnel critiques for people that quickly respond. And what did he say? Uh, it was really funny. Do three free funnel critiques. Yes, give it to me, baby. That's what he said. He said, if you 
if you comment, the first three people that comment, yes, give it to me, baby, he would do a free funnel critique for it because he knows that if he does a funnel critique for people and he provides great value, that that would increase the chance, well, it would open the conversation and increase the chance of people wanting to work with him. He is going to actually not only coach people on the coaching things that he's coaching him on, the skills like funnel building and things and how to build their business and the principles that make a solid business. But he is also going to ask for testimonials then as he gets people results. But he's going to coach people on exactly what and help them to give him a, a testimonial that he can use. He's going to ask them, what was your life like before we talked? What did you get out of the coaching? What was your experience with my coaching? And what what was your life like after? What's it like now? What kind of action or results are you getting and taking based on the coaching that we had? Um, I'm sorry, my eyes are bad today. And then after he got the testimonials, he is going to post value and results on his page to encourage more people to come to him. He talks a lot about um, his day-by-day -day structure and what he would do. He talks about gratitude getting invited on podcasts and other people's platforms. He talks about um, podcasts, doing guest Facebook Lives, doing guest posts, and then hopefully lining up some speaking gigs. People will start to see him as authority and expert in his field, and then they would ask him to speak at different events, which gives him more exposure to more people that he can then get on a call with to invite to coaching. Um, on day 19, he talks about creating a branding statement. A statement that he'll use then across all his platforms and in everything he does, everything he says, every Facebook Live video, which he'd also start doing Facebook Live videos and a gratitude. He would practice gratitude every single night and he would also read a half an hour every night because he wants to continue to sharpen his saw and make sure his skills and his area of expertise are strong and that he is always getting better and better and better so he can provide more value to his coaching students and clients. He's going to, after he gets a few success stories with coaching students, he's going to create a course and he's going to just um, think about eight things that people need to crush it in the niche that he's addressing. And those eight things were for him, mindset, funnels, copy, email, strategy, team building, scaling, and organic traffic. And then he would teach the step-by-step -step process for each of those things. He would record it on video and then have it transcribed for his course. Then after he does his course, he's going to create a webinar to sell his course. And then he's going to actually pay attention to what his competitors are doing so that he can um, make sure that as he's producing and creating his webinar and his sales and his offer, that he's filling in the needs that aren't being met by his competitors. He wants to be slightly different because sometimes our competitors become our best partners. Um, he would test, tweak, scale, and then at the end of the 30 days, he's going to use his story that he's been documenting all along. Remember at the beginning I said he was going to document his journey to create a PDF of his journey, how he went from X to Y in 30 days, and then offer that as a product. So our action item today is to think about and write down what do you stand for? What are your principles? What are your core values? What do you stand for as a business, as a company, as a person? And that is our assignment for today. That's our action item. Tomorrow we are going to learn about the structured strategy from an amazing woman named Rhonda Swan. Love this lady. She's a branding expert, personal branding, and I think you're going to love what she has to teach you about supersizing your business. Go out, make it a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow with the structured strategy. Bye.